Good morning, friends. Welcome to another day of Herping Lebanon. If you're a fan of wildlife and herpetofauna, you're in the right place. And if you're not, stick around anyway because I will definitely change your mind. And our very first encounter for today. Uh, it's not a reptile, but it's pretty cool. A Scorpio fuscus, a large close scorpion. These guys are mildly venomous. They are very common in Lebanon. They are borrowing species. I find lots of them in deep holes under rocks. No complete stuff. trip without the Lebanon lizard Finiculacerta laevis. This one lost its tail. Actually, all of its tail. Probably something tried to eat it or got into a fight or something. You can see it's almost by the anal opening. It's gonna be hard to regrow such tail. And I think she doesn't have any other uh, any more tail left to lose later on in the future. It's cleaning its nose with its tongue, that's so cute. And we're going further into the land. There is kind of a mini forest ahead. We're gonna check it out as well. It's getting really hot, so I'm hoping the trackouts will be active soon. And I'll see some snakes actually. And here guys we found a super cool big larva of some kind uh, I'm not sure about the species of this one If you know it, please let me know in the comments down below They have beautiful salmon pink belly look It's so pretty And it hides its head in the uh, exoskeleton You can see the head is out now And it's gonna move, I'm gonna leave it under the rock where I found it It's a pretty one Right. Go. And here we got probably the tiniest reptile in Lebanon, the Ruppelsis king. They are extremely small. This is actually an adult, fully grown adult. Uh, they look almost limbless and they swim in the leaf litter. Uh, people usually think they are tiny snakes, but they are lizards as you can see. Uh, these guys feed on insects and arthropods, they live underground most of their lives. I saw quite few of them today and managed to capture one. Uh, we have two species of this genus. The other one is the Bodax skink. It's also very similarly looking, but it inhabits different areas of Lebanon. I'm gonna try to take macro shots of this one and let it go. And we just found a really cool place. With lots of potential. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you something interesting. There is almost an entire colony of house geckos, like a Mediterranean house gecko, right under here. Check this out, there is one, two, three, four, five, and I think there is more, yeah, six, seven. Okay, there are quite a bunch of them over here. That's really cool. Check it out. Beautiful creatures. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Uh, last time we made a short herping trip that wasn't very productive. We didn't find any snakes or big stuff. Today I came out again. It's a bit breezy and sunny at the same time which is good uh, the great sign was that I already saw a snake but I missed the fact that it was already halfway in a hole so I couldn't capture it from what I saw it was a web snake a young one a large web snake around one meter long uh, it was great beginning for the day so there's a big possibility that we'll find more since one snake is out uh, Stick around and enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. And there guys, we've got a pair of mating Greek tortoises. You can see that's a huge female actually, with a tiny male. I heard them before seeing them as usual. You can hear the sound of the male trying to make the female lift her body so he can mate with her. He's trying hard. Lord.
It's so funny. Look at the sound the male is making. It's like meowing like a cat or something. So you open his mouth and then his tongue is out. That's one horny tortoise. And guys, we finally found the snake. The Mediterranean cat snake, Teriscopus phallax syriacus. It's a mildly venomous rear fang species. It was uh, sharing the rock with a toad, a fan fingered gecko, and a scorpion, but they escaped when I flipped the rock. Uh, and I was focusing on capturing the snake. This is really cool, it's a young adult. They are uh, mildly venomous, so their venom is of low toxicity, and their fangs are located in the back of their mouth. So, can also the possibility of uh, them injecting venom is very little, if ever possible. I'm gonna take still shots of this beauty and let it go. The area is full of geckos, so obviously this is a healthy, well-fed one. It feeds mainly on lizards and geckos, which are everywhere here in the area. That's so cool. I didn't expect seeing this one today. And it's we're awesome. gonna release her near where we found her. Yeah, go. Cool. And our friend, the variable toad, is always there for us. I found like 50 of them today as well. Every time I flip something, they're usually under it, one or more. I will not take my time filming this, not to waste battery, so I will just let it go under the rock. And there guys, there are toad eggs and tadpoles already in the stream. Uh, spring is totally here, they started laying. You can see all these eggs, there are thousands, and they probably belong to the same toad. And the tadpoles are swimming around here near the rocks, if you can see them, they're still tiny. It's really cool. So, I'm heading home now. I'll be herping and flipping on the way back, as it's still early. Uh, the second part of the trip wasn't very fruitful and the area I wanted to reach was closed by military and all that so I have to get back and herp here on the way